Hi! Today I'm going to show you 10 different ideas how to shoot photos of your books. This is a great way to get inspired, I hope so at least. And uh, you can use those photos for your bookstagram account or if you're interested in still life or stuff like that, whatever. One of the easiest things to do is take a single book and put that in focus. So if you have a book you just read and you want to say something, it is a nice way. I think it is kind of nice if the book really stands out of the photo immediately. Books over books. Use more books. So if you use more than one, you have all different kind of options. You can show the book spines, you can show the open books, you can do whatever. There are really lots of options. It's always different, you know? Even if you want to copy someone, you probably don't have the same books and so you get something different out of it. Use different kinds of fabric, like your bed sheets or scarves. Um, blankets, mm, sweaters, your clothes, towels, um, yeah, me coming up spontaneously with things isn't really working. Get yourself involved in the pictures. If it's just you holding a book, or you could stack up books, you can do it totally faceless. You have hands and you can show your feet. There are a lot of options. Of course you can move your face if you want that. Um, you could pile up the books like and then look through. Or you show us how you read. Like um, a lot of people do it in the bathtub. I don't know if I would do that or if you're on the floor like relax and maybe coffee beside you whatever or yeah hold stuff so flowers oops I like to frame my pictures with nature and flowers are a great way to improve your photos they're I'm always saying there are lots of options lots of ideas but it's the truth, you just have to get creative with it. Use the pages. If you're brave enough, you can rip the pages out of a book and you can tape them on a wall and sit in front of it. Or you can go easy and just make book cards or other little things. One of the most simplest solutions are book stacks. Pile some books up, throw them somewhere, make a picture, and you're done. Easy as that. Always consider the wipe you're going for, because it makes a lot of difference if you throw your books in a shelf, in a brown wooden shelf, or if you place them in front of a window with all the light, the sunshine coming through. Maybe it's darker and you have to use the light of a candle or a lamp. Lots of different moods. You have to know what you're going for. I don't know what I'm going for, so I switch it up until I find something I like. And you can do that too. Try it out. Cozy up. That means you can use a teddy bear. <laughs> no. um, I'm talking about light here. so. I like candles and they give a very cozy vibe. So that's a great way, or maybe you have some fairy lights. So I kind of forgot to film the number 10, or maybe I did and I lost it. It is about cups, coffee, tea, or drinks. You will see. Different ideas, get creative with it. But those were the 10 photo ideas of today. I hope you get some inspiration. I would love to see your work. So if you're taking any kinds of photos which I talked about today, 
I would love to see what you've done. So use the hashtag Jacobini to share it on Instagram with me or drop me a DM or send me an email or whatever. I would really love to see your work. Now um, I have to clean up the mess I made because the downside of bulk shooting is the mess. So I have to take everything back where it belongs and I have to vacuum clean because flowers and plants are, well, you know, dirty. Well, you know, it can get messy. And then I'm gonna edit the video and even more exciting part for me is editing the photos. But you already saw them in the video, so I already did that when you watch me. Yeah. Thanks for watching as always. And I see you next time, hopefully. Bye.